Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video from Algorado. I hope all of you are doing well. It's been a long time since I last made a video, but I hope to continue publishing new content regularly from now on. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new tool called WA Supra. WA Supra is a powerful software that can enhance engagement with its messaging capabilities and other useful features. This tool is primarily focused on the call to action button feature. As you can see in the top header, the WhatsApp button works seamlessly for both Android and iOS. As you know, call to action buttons are highly demanded features in WhatsApp marketing software. However, no other software on the market can send call to action buttons with messages, except the official cloud API. But with WA Supra, you can use the call to action button feature and take your WhatsApp marketing efforts to the next level. It's important to note that you should never use your personal number or any newly registered number for sending bulk messages. Before sending bulk messages, use a newly registered number for a few days, participate in group activities, and only then start sending messages in small batches. Gradually increase the batch size over time. For more details about anti-ban guidelines, please watch the video linked in the I button. Caution, use any third-party software at your own risk. Algorita is not responsible for any unwanted circumstances that may arise. Now let's take a quick look at WA Supra and its features. This is the official website, www.wasupra.com. You can scroll down to find the download link. The tool is compatible with both Windows and Mac M series. Once downloaded, install the software as you would any regular program. After installation, open it, and you'll see an interface that prompts you for a license. I am offering a one-day trial for all my subscribers. To claim it, subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates. Like this video and take a screenshot of your subscription. Send the screenshot to my Telegram. The Telegram link is provided in the video description. After receiving your license, fill in your name, email, phone number, location, country, and the license key. Then click Activate. The software will activate and you'll enter the main interface of WA Supra. The main interface of WA Supra shows the license expiry details. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the available menus. Currently, I am in the dashboard where you can view the following. The number of connected devices, the total auto replies sent, welcome messages sent, templates, total campaigns, total messages, pending messages, and more. At the bottom right corner, you'll find a support button. You can use this to contact our WhatsApp support or send an email if you encounter any issues after purchasing a license. The next menu is devices, where you can create instances and add your devices. By default, you can add up to 10 devices. If you need more, contact support and they can increase your limit to 50 devices. The Send Message menu is where you can create and manage your campaigns. Here you can select any pre-built template, choose an instance and message type, use the Download Sample button to get a file format that will help you create your contact list, add single contact rows manually, exclude unsubscribed contacts automatically, Write messages with formatting options like bold, italic, or emojis. At the bottom, you'll find the campaign name field. Later in the video, I'll show a live demo of sending button messages with media. The welcome message menu allows you to set unique welcome messages for each instance. You can choose the message type and customize your content. The auto reply menu lets you configure automatic replies for all connected numbers. Select an instance, type a keyword to match, and choose the message type for the auto reply. In the templates menu, you can create as many templates as you need. These templates will be visible when you send messages. The contacts menu displays all the saved contacts. You can also import your contact list when preparing for a campaign. The unsubscribes menu automatically logs contacts who opt out of your campaigns. WA Supra ensures these contacts are excluded from future campaigns. The number filter menu helps you check if a number is active on WhatsApp. However, avoid filtering more than 1,000 numbers at a time. The group grabber menu displays all the groups for any selected instance. 
you can import group members directly from here. The Reports menu provides detailed information about your campaigns, including sent and pending messages. The Receive Messages menu stores all incoming messages, regardless of the number of devices or WhatsApp accounts connected. Finally, the Settings menu contains several important tabs. Switch accounts after a certain number of messages or send messages in parallel. Delay settings and sleep mode to reduce the risk of bans. Options for sending media before or after messages. Activate or deactivate welcome messages and configure the time period for sending them. Default country and language settings. Unsubscribe message settings to define custom unsubscribe keywords. Storage tab to manage storage usage and set limits. The hook number feature, which ensures seamless communication by redirecting incoming messages to backup numbers if your primary number is banned. Let's now test the tool by sending a campaign with buttons to see if it works on Android. First, connect your device or number. Go to Create Instance, select QR Login or Phone Login, name the instance and click Create. Then scan the QR code to connect your WhatsApp account. Next, go to the Send Message menu, select the instance and choose a message type. I'll select text with media as an example. Upload your media file, hover beside the delete button and click add caption to type the message content. Now check the send caption with button box and add a footer title. Create buttons such as a call button, a URL button and an unsubscribe button. Save the settings. Now let's import the contacts. Click on the import button. Here I am selecting a pre-built Excel file and mapping the Excel file's headers to match the software's headers. Once done, click Next to proceed. You can validate the data and then click the Confirm button. As you can see, all of my contacts have been successfully imported. Next, I'll give this campaign a name. Now everything is ready to go. Click the Send button to start sending messages. Once the messages start sending, you can go to the Reports section to observe the live status. Since I've set the delay to 20 to 30 seconds, messages are being sent gradually. You can see that I've received a new message. Let's open it. Boom! The call to action buttons are here. Let's test them one by one. Click the Call Us button. Yes, it opens the dialer. Click the Visit Website button. It redirects to open a browser. Click the Unsubscribe button. It sends a quick reply confirming the unsubscription. Since I've unsubscribed, let's check the Unsubscribes menu. As you can see, we now have one contact listed as not interested in receiving further campaign or promotional messages. Next time I send another campaign, WA Supra will automatically exclude this contact from the sending list. That's all about WA Supra. If you'd like a detailed video on a specific feature, let me know in the comments. Visit www.wasupra.com to check pricing. We offer various subscription levels, including reseller options for those looking to generate revenue. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Have a great day. Yeah.